here we go i have all the ingredients the flour the eggs the sugar salt the milk and the yeast i have everything so now let's get started on this bread okay here's my little volcano <laughs> next step now i have all the ingredients in here well, most of them anyway um i'm gonna now start to combine it and see how i do i am done with mixing it it's supposed to look like this like kind of sticky um now i'm gonna cover it and let it you know sit until it's done rising and then we'll go on to making our bun. I'm so excited. I ended up having to leave it overnight because my house got pretty cold. So it tripled the amount of time that it needed for the dough to rise. So um, that's what I did. And then here, I'm just showing you after I worked the dough, I separated it or I tried to separate it into five equal parts. Um, for this fifth one, I'm going to use it to form the bones that go on top of the breads for decoration. Okay, so here I have all the little bones that are supposed to go on top of the bread, kind of like decor, decoration. And here I have my four little balls of dough. So they've been sitting for about an hour now. I don't know if they're expanding any more than when I first let them sit. So I don't know. But I'll wait another hour because um, the recipe says they have to um, I have to let them sit and, and um, and rest for two hours before I can put them in the oven so I shall keep waiting one more hour though and look at that oh. now I'm gonna set the oven and I'm gonna bake them oh my goodness I can't wait. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness <laughs> yes Okay, I'm gonna leave it for a few more minutes. I do like this, like it's raining. Do our, our burnt bun, go ahead. Wow. Make sure you do all the way around. Don't do it so high up. There you go, like that. <laughs> Guys, this came out so good and then I decided, smart me, to put it, um, to put it for like a minute on the yeah. broiler to get it like crispy. Not crispy, but you know, like a little more golden. And this one burnt. Yep. <laughs> it looks like it's burnt, but it's not burnt. It's just like extra golden. <laughs> it almost burnt though. Okay. Is that good or you want to add a little more? Add a little see. more. Let's sprinkle like this. Okay, that's it. Let's move on to the next one, okay? Mm -hmm. I just added the butter on top. Now my helper is going to do the sugar on this one. Your fingers like this. And then you just sprinkle it all the way around. Okay. Good. Perfect. That's it. That's it. We don't want to put too much sugar either. Now we have one more left. Yeah. So we'll do the butter. I just clean it up badly. This one. Too. I don't know if I showed you guys a pic, uh, you know, when it, they first came out of the oven before I decided to put it on broil for like a minute. Um, but uh, maybe I'll put a picture here if I didn't show you. So you can see the difference. Let's okay. Do that one. Sure, I'm gonna put it right here just so that you can do this one. Okay? Go ahead. Okay. You got it. Wait. <laughs> you gonna use that one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I gotta wash my hands. Yep. Very good. Now we're just gonna let them finish cooling down. And they're ready for later. Okay, that's good. Okay, guys, so here it is. These are our breads. We already started eating one of them. <laughs> I think it is a success. My first time baking bread. <laughs> 
Did you like it? It was good, right? <laughs> hola, hola. Como están? After I finished the bread, <sighs> I just wanted to come and uh, sit here and just relax for a for a few minutes. <laughs> I think I probably end most of my videos like this. Like, I'm just like relaxing. <laughs> anyway, um, today's been a long day. But I finally finished the bread and it turned out so good like um, at first I was feeling a little disappointed because I thought maybe I had burnt it but I it's not burnt it's just like extra golden brown <laughs> um, and it's still really really good like you it's not burnt at all like we tasted it already and um, it's not it's not burnt I just was like freaking out for a minute because I thought oh I should have just left it the way it was when I first got it out of the oven um, I shouldn't have like tried to add to what I was given since it was my first time baking uh, bread I didn't I should have just followed the recipe <laughs> but um, I was talking to Michelle the girl where um, the girl from the blog that I uh, love that that where I got the recipe from <laughs> and um, she was saying that next time I can just leave the bread in the oven for a few more minutes instead of switching it to um, at the regular temperature instead of switching it to the broiler and that should give it that extra golden um, what's it called you know little extra golden color so um, that's what I'll do because I'm going to make more um, this weekend so that we can have for the weekend. Um, and yeah, I'm just um, sitting here relaxing. When I was um, making the bread, it was when I first put it in the oven and then once it started to cook, it was so, so good. Like the scent in my house, it was so, so like divine. It like, I was telling Michelle, it took me back to my childhood in Mexico. And when like my grandmother um, used to bake and, or when she would take me like to the local um, bakeries in town, the smell is just like, uh, I don't know, indescribable. If you ever been inside a bakery and they're like baking fresh bread, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go now. I will see you guys next time. Hasta la próxima. Oh, I'm going to leave the um, the link to the recipe where I got this from to the uh, blog um, in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out. Adios. Till next time. Bye.